Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Vikas Patil. This is the second chapter of grade 9, the geographic grid system of earth. In this chapter, we are going to explore in detail about the geographic grid system of earth. In order to describe your location, you need some point of reference. For example, right now you are probably sitting in one of the rooms in your house or school watching this video on your tablet or computer. In order to describe your location to your friend, you can state what is around you. For example, near the library third room from the office. Similarly, to describe the location of your house or school, you could give reference points in the form of street name, area name, city name, etc. Such reference points would be easy to understand and use for any local person. But for any person living very far in another country or continent, it would be useless. To solve this problem, cartographers have developed a coordinate system to describe the location of any place or feature on earth. A coordinate system consists of lines of latitude and longitude. Lines of latitude and longitude form a grid that measures distance from a reference point. This session focuses on the grid system of our earth in detail. It begins with highlighting the need for a grid system and its history followed by a detailed explanation of the concepts of latitude and longitude. You will also develop understanding about the relation between the lines of latitude and the heat zones on earth. Furthermore, you will understand the relationship between lines of longitude and time you will also acquaint yourself with the important lines of latitude and longitude and understand the relevance and utility of standard times followed by countries. This is the first session of the chapter. In this session, we are going to find out how the concept of a grid came into existence. In this session, we are going to try and achieve the following objectives. Justify the need of a grid system. Explore the history of grid system. Develop understanding about how the grid system is used to locate places. Before we begin our exploration about history of the grid system, let us look at some of the common misconceptions that exist regarding our grid system. The Earth's grid system was created very recently. Well, that is not true. Next, there is an actual grid of lines on Earth. Again, this is not a fact. The grid system is an imaginary system. Our Earth is a large planet. It has a radius of more than 6,000 km and circumference of more than 40,000 km. Most of its surface is covered with water and some covered with land. Locating a place on such big Earth is like finding a needle in hay. 
to locate any place on earth we need to know its distance and direction from another known place or point which is called a reference point the most common reference points on the earth are the north pole and the south pole apart from these two reference points there is another reference point exactly halfway between the poles through which a horizontal line is drawn which divides the earth into two equal halves or hemispheres this reference point is the equator using these reference points two sets of imaginary lines are drawn around the globe one set of circle is drawn horizontally between the poles these set of circles are always parallel to each other the other set of circles is drawn vertically through the poles these vertical and horizontal lines form a grid system which is used to locate any place on the earth at times when most people were still trying to figure out whether the earth is flat or spherical geniuses like eratosthenes were able to measure the size of the earth and also develop a network of horizontal and vertical lines to find the location of any place on earth the longitude and latitude were first discovered by the greeks in the 3rd century bc eratosthenes was the first to discover the latitude and longitude by dividing the earth in 180 degrees of latitude he identified 90 degrees of latitudes towards the north of the equator and 90 degrees towards the south of the equator to do so he divided the world into 90 slices on either side of the equator the latitude could be calculated by measuring the length of a shadow cast by the sun behind a high pole however he found it difficult to form the longitudes he divided the world into 360 degrees like the segment of an orange the greek knew that the key of longitudes was time for centuries the only way to calculate longitude was to wait for an eclipse then it was possible to find out the time in two different places hipparchus was the one to suggest its use to locate places on earth hipparchus further proposed a method for determining longitudes by comparing local time of a place with a known fixed time however people traveling long distances required a way to know their position therefore the global grid was developed with lines of latitude and longitude it was not until the invention of an accurate clock or chronometer in 1736 that longitude could be measured with some accuracy today the task of measuring latitude and longitude has been made simple by navigating satellites in the sky the lines of latitude and lines of longitude make our grid the point where latitude and longitude meet is considered the location of that place locating places with the help of latitudes and longitudes has made it easy to pinpoint the location of any place on earth with accuracy this was all for this session in the next session we will focus on the lines of latitude don't forget to watch thank you